guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm bringing you guys another Droid X ROM review. Now, this ROM that I'm reviewing today, this is Boosted ICS. It's by a developer that goes by BMC08GT. Now, this guy, he's the same guy that you guys know from about six months ago that created the Power Boost, which was the modification that in Increased your 3G speeds and also took away throttling across multiple devices. I think at the time that I reviewed it, uh, he covered eight or nine devices. Uh, so he's taken everything that he's learned from that process and that experience. He's incorporated that into his new boosted ICS ROM. Now this is based on... If I'm not mistaken, I know he says that it's in conjunction with Team First Encounter, so I think that this ROM, I know it's based on Cyanogen Mod 9, uh, but I think it's based on that Ice Cream Sandwich ROM First Encounter, and it includes all the tweaks, mods, and hacks that BMC is known for with his Power Boost script and, and all that stuff that's just meant to speed up the phone and make it uh, no lag, and of course it has all the Cyanogen Mod settings we're going to go into this rom in depth but i will have to say that i forgot to plug in my droid x last night and i got home and it was dead so i was able to juice it up just enough to install the latest nightly which is 512 12 yes 512 12 so that nightly is on there and so everything it's the latest nightly is what i'm trying to get at so Within the next couple of days, he'll have his build 3 out, which should be even stabler, even faster. Um, but I've been watching this thing since its infancy, and it's come a long way, guys. And it is now a stable ROM that you could really rely on for day-to-day -day use. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this review. So let me focus it. Here we go. Uh, the wallpaper, in case you're wondering, that's just something that I happen to have from a long time ago uh, that I put on the phone. It's nothing special. It doesn't come with a ROM. You will notice in the notification bar, everything's black and white. And if I go into settings, uh, everything here is black and white as well. This is the black Exodus theme. So this is one of the coolest parts of this ROM is the theme manager. So if we go into the theme manager here, there's several to choose from and of course you can download these from the market as well all you have to do is apply it and it's going to change your theme on the fly some of you guys remember this from cyanogen mod 7 uh, so it'll quickly change it and you see that uh, my soft keys down at the bottom the navigation keys they, those have changed everything in my settings has changed and of course if we go into the app drawer looks like some things have changed there as well we pull down all my toggles have changed there and it looks like my Wi-Fi and signal and all that my everything has changed there as well so that's pretty cool the theme chooser that is probably the biggest feature in this latest update uh, if we go back to themes I'll show you the one that it comes with and you'll see that in these themes everything is changed the framework uh, over scroll everything is is changed in the themes uh, so it's really a lot of fun. Now he did add these navigation buttons. Of course you can still use your physical keys on the Droid X. And one thing that I like about his modification on the navigation buttons is that they're really small. So they really don't take up a lot of screen real estate. I know with the Droid X we're only looking at a 4 inch screen anyways. Uh, so all of the real estate is very important. This doesn't take up much real estate which is really nice. Now if we go into system uh, we can change our notification drawer. We can add widgets. We can take widgets away. Uh, so it says show power widgets. If I uncheck that, I won't have my widgets anymore. It'll be just plain Jane up there. And if I go to widget buttons, I can actually select the widgets that I like. So this is standard, you know, from Cyanogen Mod 9. Nothing really new here. Um, sorry about that, guys. That looked a little sketchy. The phone died. I told you guys the battery power was pretty much gone. Uh, so we're up to 21% right now. So hopefully it doesn't run out before we finish. Still plugged in. But anyhow, don't even know where I was. I think we were in the notification drawer and we were talking about the toggles up here. Um, so you can add or remove any of your toggles. We may have already said something by going to widget button. And let's see, we'll just add a few. So you can see what's going on. And when you pull that down, those should all be there. Um, of course, you can change the order by going to button order. You can hold and drag and drop those anyway. 
we'll move forward in the settings. Uh, you have some status bar settings here. You can change your clock. You can add it or take it away on the fly. You can change the AM PM style. I select none because I normally know when AM and PM is. Change your battery style here with percentage or hide it. Uh, brightness controls. If you select this, I'm not really sure if it actually works. I couldn't get it to work, but if you select that, you should be able to change your brightness just by sliding on the status bar. I couldn't get that to work. Maybe it's just me. Uh, you can choose a wallpaper from here, but you can do that just by holding the screen. Uh, but other than that, this ROM is plenty fast. Like I said, it, the main thing about this is it includes BMCs, uh, mods, and hacks, and build.prop edits to make it super fast. Um, but that is everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Just click the button there. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to leave a comment, guys. You don't know how much your likes and your comments help me. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.